What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more comic book sales. This is over $1,000 in sales and I'm definitely well over $1,000 profit right now for the comic book lots that I did buy earlier in 2021. And at the end of this video, I will share my total profits that I did make on all of the comics so far. But in this video, there's $1,000 in sales that I did make. Let's get right into this. So up first, we have 217 Superman comics. These ones here I've been sitting on for a really long time. This was included in the second lot that I did buy of my comic books. And I've had almost no interest on Superman comics. Not too many people were interested in them. And I did end up finding somebody that wanted them for her grandkids who absolutely loved Superman. So she was going to hold on to them for a few years and give them to them as a Christmas present or a present or something like that. So... I thought that was a great deal. I did sell them for $210 for 217 of them. So just under a dollar each. I could have asked more and I probably should have, but I've had zero interest since I did get them. So I decided to sell them for this point and $210 to me, that was a great deal to be able to sell. Next up is 67 assorted Spider-Man comics. This is everything from Amazing Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, a whole bunch of different ones, a few from the 80s, 90s, and some from the early 2000s as well. Just a huge assortment of Spider-Man comics. This sold for $125, which I was more than happy for. This one here, I believe I had to ship, but they did pay the shipping for it, the exact amount for shipping. So it was $125 in sales. Next was Outlander's Manga Comics, the complete sets, issue one to, I can't remember how far it went, um, but it was a complete set. It sold for $50, I believe. It was maybe 30, 35 comics total. Can't 100% remember, all I know is the complete sets, and I did sell it for $50, which I thought was great. Next was 16 graphic novels. I did sell them for $100 because I've had literally no interest in them. I started them off at about uh, $10 each. I think I sold one in a previous video. I think I mentioned that I sold one at that price point. Nobody else was interested in them. So I lowered my prices. I said $5 each or $100 for the lots and somebody bought the entire lot, which I thought was amazing. So I think I got a really great deal or I think I actually listed $10 each or $100 for all. And this guy won them all. He was coming from Montreal. So it was an hour and a half, almost two hour drive for him, but he was more than happy and I was happy just to see them gone. Next up was 50 comic mystery box. Uh, it was Marvel and DC. This sold for $80. This one here, I believe was a local meetup. He just wanted Marvel and DC, a box of 50. At the time, my price was $80. Uh, that's what I think they currently are. I have been reducing my prices a little by little, just trying to get more sold since I'm already so much up and have so much profit. I'm trying to get things sold and give huge discounts. So $80 for 50 Marvel and DC comics was a great deal. He was extremely happy and I was happy to make a sale. Next up is 175 comics. This was multiple mystery boxes. There was one Indies box, one Marvel box that he wanted uh, the remaining Superman that I had. I only had a few left. Um, Superboy, uh, some Flash, some other DC characters. He wanted a Marvel mystery box. So in total, it was 175 comics. It was $215. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but he did have a mixed box that did include a lot of indie. And he did have a complete box of, I think, 50 that included 50 indie. That was just indie. So the indie stuff I was selling for $35 just to get them gone. So at the end of the day, 175 comics, $215. He was extremely happy. I was extremely happy because I made the sale. So at the end of the day, to me, that was totally worth it. Next up was 30 comics. They were the War of Kings set that I did have from the first lot that I've had virtually no interest for. There was about 30 comics in this lot and I listed it for $30 and it's been sitting there. It's an old, old ad. I don't even know how this person found it. It was on Kijiji for maybe 
four months, five months now. It was an old ad that I just forgot about and somebody messaged, wanted them, so I uh, dug them out, shipped them to him, and he paid the $30 for them plus what it cost to ship. So it equaled out to be $30 for the 30 comics. I was more than happy to see them gone as well. Then the last sale that I did make was the final 200 indie comics that I did have. I sold them for $120. I honestly did not think that I was ever gonna sell all my indie stuff. I did recently list them really, really cheap, hoping somebody would pick them up and buy them. Nobody even messaged on them. It was one of my mystery boxes that somebody messaged saying he wanted 200 indie comics and it did equal it to be $120. So that was a local meetup. I didn't have to ship them because 200 comics would have been a lot to ship. Luckily he did meet up locally and it was so easy to do. So that was a great $120 sale. Right now all the comics that I have left, which is about, I think I calculated about 1,700 to 2,000 comics left. It is all Marvel and DC, which I am extremely happy about. All of my, or at least most of my image is gone and all of my other indie stuff is completely gone. And that's stuff that I've been sitting on, stuff that I honestly didn't think I'd sell. All of the Archie stuff was in the 200 comics. A lot of other stuff that honestly, I would honestly just be sitting on for months and months and months. And I'm just glad somebody was interested. So at the end of the day, that is all of the sales that I'm gonna be sharing in this video. That is over $1,000 in sales. If my math is correct, that is $1,030 in sales. Now, when it comes to the comic books that I bought, I bought three separate lots. I paid $2,200 for all of the comics. As of right now, I have sold $3,600 in comics and I still have about half them left. I still have about 2,000, roughly 2,000 comics left, I would say. Right now, I'm sitting at $1,400 profits on the comic books that I did buy. That, to me, is insane. I knew there was gonna be profit to be made. I'm just really thankful that it worked out and I got the numbers that I wanted and I still have half them left. So I've sold all of the expensive comics. I've sold uh, Incredible Hulk issue 449, which was $150. I've sold a set that was $100, a couple other ones that were roughly around $50 to $100. So all my expensive stuff is gone. Right now it's all of my lower end stuff that I should be able to sell between a dollar to three dollars each and that is still a ton of profit to be made. If I just sold everything at a dollar each, that is two thousand dollars sitting in the other room in comics that I could have. So that's like saying thirty four hundred dollars profit when everything does sell but a lot of it in the other room is ones that are going to sell between the two and three dollar mark it's just a matter of taking time listing everything and finding people that want to pay those prices but for me buying over four thousand comics selling just half of them and making fourteen hundred dollars profit so far is amazing and that's why i like sharing these videos of what my sales are what i'm doing for my reselling business and just everything in general so hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys enjoy all this content when i'm sharing about the recent sales the recent things that i buy from a reselling business because to me anybody can do it if they put their mind to it and it is hard work but look at the profit that i have made so far and this is about six months maybe six months uh since i started and i bought my first lot of comics so $1,400 profit in six months is amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.